We are here today as agents of change in a changing world. In lobbying our Members of Parliament this afternoon, we have three clear messages. They're set out on the briefing sheets on your seats. Message one, a clear and unambiguous thank you to the new government for protecting the aid budget and being, from being cut in today's comprehensive spending review. Message two, while money is vital in helping to tackle poverty, we also need structural change as on tax and development. So ask your MP to write to Vince Cable, Secretary of State for Business, asking Vince Cable to help developing countries to raise money through pushing for an international crackdown on tax dodging and a requirement that companies be transparent about their operations on a country by country basis. Message three, ask your MP to also write a second letter, this time to Caroline Spellman, Secretary of State for the Environment, asking her to introduce by Christmas mandatory reporting of carbon emissions by the major UK firms. Three clear messages, two clear asks, delivered by you this afternoon to your MP. We are campaigners for justice. We are driven by a defining moral imperative. We seek, articulate and demand profound structural change. We build on the work who have walked this way before us. Like them, we are impatient. Like them, we are persistent. Like them, we are optimistic. Three hallmarks of those who have responded to the call to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to do justice at the gate. The Reverend Jesse Jackson, impatient, persistent, optimistic. Christian AIDS campaigning, impatient, persistent, optimistic. Campaigners for justice, be impatient. Impatient to expose the scandal that is poverty. Impatient with a world order that denies food to the hungry in a world of plenty. Impatient with those in political power who fail to show leadership on global poverty. Impatient with those in commercial power who say global poverty is not their concern and their only responsibility is the creation of profit. Archbishop Trevor Huddleston, the president of the anti-apartheid movement, became increasingly impatient with the injustice that was apartheid the older he became. In his final years, he was worried that he would die before apartheid was defeated. His impatience led him to demand ever greater efforts from himself and those in the anti-apartheid movement until finally, finally, victory was achieved in his lifetime. Campaigners for justice, we are right to be impatient. We must be impatient. We must also be persistent. Persistent in helping in practical ways to root out poverty. Poverty has many causes, all of which have to be defeated. This war on poverty demands persistence, for there will be no single victory, rather a protracted series of battles, some of which we will win, and others we will have to fight again another day as we lost them. We see this persistence writ large in history. Look at Wilberforce and the campaign against the slave trade, driven by his Christian faith. Time and time again he brought before Parliament the bill to abolish slavery, only to encounter division, delay, defeat. Eleven times he tried in 19 long years before finally, finally, his persistence was rewarded. The bill was passed and slavery abolished. Campaigners for justice, be persistent. We must also be optimistic. Optimistic that the structures and systems and laws that favour the rich and powerful over the poor and marginalised can be successfully challenged and changed for good. Optimistic for a better world where all can be included in the feast of life. We hold to a vision, a vision of a world freed from the shackles of poverty. We believe in the realising of the kingdom of God here on earth and we draw on the optimism of the civil rights movement in the United States of America. 
an optimism that enabled the Reverend Martin Luther King to dream and speak with unshakable conviction that one day, one day they would reach the promised land. <laughs> Campaigners for justice, be impatient, be persistent, be optimistic. Deploy these characteristics now as we go to Westminster. Let us deliver our messages to our members of parliament. Let us convey to them our hopes and our aspirations of a world in which poverty is over. Let us go forth from this great hall to encourage our MPs to use their power to tackle the scourge of climate change and the injustice of tax avoidance. Let us go forth from this great gathering ready to deploy the collective power of our impatience, our persistence and our optimism. Let us go forth committed to tackling the causes as well as the symptoms of poverty. Let us go forth inspired by the victories of the past to give us the victories of today and tomorrow. And let us go forth not as purveyors of doom, but as merchants of hope. Let us go forth as heralds of the kingdom. Let us go forth to do justice at the gate.